happy Monday. Welcome back to the vlog. I am all dressed and ready to go to work. I sit outside in the mornings. <clears throat> Sorry, this is like the first time I'm talking this morning too. And I've had like a little bit of a cough the last couple of days. Um, but I do my five minute journal and then I do like a little devotional as well. The boys play in the background and they get a little bit of energy out while I work, like do this type of stuff before I leave. So it's like 7.45 right now. I leave for work at eight. I start patients at 8.30. So yeah, it's a nice little morning routine. I made myself a cup of coffee with a new creamer this morning. Um, I use the Chobani maple, like, maple donut glaze or something like that. I just use a little bit, but it is really good and very sweet, so just a little bit. Um, I got my nails done over the weekend. I got this like dark red color. It's like OPI like blue about red or something like that. There's blue in the name and also red in the name, I think. Um, but yeah, I had a really nice weekend and got a bunch of stuff done for the glow bar and relaxed and saw friends it was just like a good balanced weekend and i'm not necessarily ready to go back to work today friday you guys was um a really hard day i felt like a machine i think i saw 30 patients on friday and i was just like i came home and laid on the couch and like could not speak i was like seth was like are we gonna talk and i'm like no i can't not conversate he still has a little bit of a kennel cough unfortunately um but it's just like lingering it's almost gone away hey bubba good morning boy but anyway um i figured i would i figured i would bring you guys through my week i'm working monday through thursday and then my in-laws are coming into town on friday um for a long weekend so i'm excited to not work friday this week I just had some leftover tortellini soup, you guys. This is a really good recipe I found on Pinterest and I made it um, yesterday evening and like did a bunch of meal prep for that. But it is like 12.23. My wind is like, I mean, my hair is blowing in the AC and I'm gonna go to the gym. I had a good morning this morning. All my patients were like scheduled properly. So I just have one new patient note I need to finish. And yeah, it's been good because I'm not honestly feeling the best. There's been a lot of stuff going around. And I'm wondering if I'm coming down with one of them. I didn't have a fever or anything this morning, but a little bit of muscle aches, just like overall not feeling my best. But I say as I'm literally going to the gym, um, do as I say, not as I do, but I just like need to go to the gym. I bet it. I'm not gonna work hard. I'm just going to like get some of the minutes. Workout is done. I figured out why I don't feel good. Um, or just like not up to par. It's that time of the month, which makes perfect sense because I wouldn't say like, I don't feel sick. I just, I'm tired. Like just feel like a little bit more drained, like lack of energy type of thing, which is. Kitchen appliances in it if, for the long haul too. If you're a girl, you know. Um, yeah, I had a good workout. I did legs. Once I went in and saw that like, okay, this is why I don't feel that good. I was like, mm. all right. So I didn't go hard by any means, but like I was like, okay, I'm gonna go through a regular workout. Um, I finished Whitney Simmons like advanced lift program. I just like to have something to follow and I, I don't follow it completely. Um, like if she throws some, like a workout in there that I hate, I'm like, I'm not doing that and she does less reps of things than I do. So I just basically use it for like a suggestion of what to do and I follow her stretching stuff in the beginning. Um, but I did, so I finished her lift program and then I saw that she put this other one that's like a leg type program. I don't know, mm, legs get it advanced. They have like a beginner, intermediate and an advanced one. Sorry, I'm like, smearing <laughs> aquaphor all over my freaking lips okay but well, I started that I hate doing legs it, the suggestion was three days a week of legs there is like no way in hell that I'm doing three days a week three days a week of legs I just can't so you could mark it down to four days a week so it's basically just a new program um yeah so anyway 
I am like contemplating whether or not to run and get a coffee. I think I'm going to because I still have 21 minutes till my patients start. I do have a note that I need to finish, but I, I, I can do it when I get to work. There's this new coffee shop that opened up right um, like close to my work. And I feel like I look like I have something on me. No, uh, it's called Sorbo and I got it. I had a coffee there on Saturday or a matcha and it was okay. It was a little sweet. It was my fault though. I should have asked for it to be like light sweet. So I think we're gonna go get that. This is the cute little coffee shop. If you are in like the North Tampa area, it's called Sorbo. It's super cute. Like I really like it. I just get a matcha with oat milk and then I like to get my drinks not very sweet. So I got it half sweet and I would say it's probably like a six or a seven out of 10. It's definitely the best matcha latte you're gonna find near my area, so I will take it. Hi, Seth made dinner tonight. We have a salad, pasta, which is like, um, a, it's like spinach, olive oil, and some red sauce, and then a piece of toast. It's Tuesday, I'm in my garage right now because I just wanted to show you guys my new scrubs before I left. I got these from Dolan Scrubs. I'm, I work with them on TikTok, but I just also genuinely love them. Um, and I just think they're so cute. I'm working with them on a like Thanksgiving, Christmas um, thing. Yeah, these are so cute. Look at these. Oh my God. I've been wanting a green color for a while too. This is in the color green moss, I believe. And usually, yeah, sometimes Dolan will put like cute little sayings on little places, but I guess they just went with Dolan. Um, so yeah, these are super cute. I like them a lot and have to work. Do you guys remember? Oh, actually, I already told you guys that. I woke up this morning with the worst cramps. So I took four 200 milligram ibuprofen. And this is just the worst one. Hey, Hoosh, you ready for Halloween? Hmm? These are triple A's. Do we need double A's? Oh no, those are triple A's. Mm -hmm. Well, we might be out of luck. Dang, my bad. Maybe put one in each and see if it works. <laughs> Twizzlers are not licorice. You got the next one. Okay. They're coming right now, so. Are they really? Yeah. Why can't you get them? Man, they ran. Holy cow, they were down by the road. <laughs> Fast as hell. <laughs> Gouge us. One of the batteries still works. <laughs> Spooky. Spooky season. Spooky season ends tonight, honey. Christmas starts tomorrow. Well, it's Thanksgiving season. <laughs> You're the Grinch. Where did you go? Cute. Super cute. Tinkerbell. Uh, You're one, never. You, the one reasons we put these out, they're not even. I'm gonna get this on camera. You're not concerned about any Halloween decorations until the day of. Well, because I thought they were taken care of <laughs> by the one who was supposed to be taking care of them. Huh? Are you being sexist? No, because you put them out. So obviously, you were facilitating them. I could have used some help. You should ask. <laughs> <laughs> because this is just not acceptable. Oh my god, man, it's pretty okay. That's what it's like working on Tampa. Mm. This one here? Don't close that. Oh, you again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, wait, it's one of the trigger readers. Bitch. <laughs> that was not 
<laughs> Which one would you rather light up? Mm, the big one. This one? Or this one? The big one. Happy Halloween, Halloween, oh, Halloween. What's the battery have? You're a smart ass, you know that? <laughs> I, I, a, I oughta, why I oughta? I oughta give you a nice nookie. Where is the remote? Baby, you're not. Just for the evening, gosh. I don't know where the remote is. Liar. You're right. I'm not lying. Where are you fighting? First trick or treaters, how are you feeling? Huh? First trick or treaters, how are you feeling? Good mom. I'm confused as what I think that you were on the same page. Yes, it was. Because I was saying. We're just eating um, buffalo tofu wraps for dinner. Seth just went outside because he's pissed that we don't have that many trick or treaters. Do you see any? Yeah, there's people out there. Who's your? What do you think of these trick or treaters? You're scaring them away. Oh, come on. We they could go dress as a who's your boy. Today's Wednesday. I'm like so messed up with my days. I feel like the four day work week has been throwing me off with my days, which is fine. It's not a big deal, but it is in fact Wednesday. So I do in fact have a stupid, have this stupid morning meeting that I have to go to every Wednesday. Um, but yesterday was Halloween. I got a bunch of footage of us with the trick or treaters, I hope, um, which was cute. Seth loves like handing out candy and stuff like and seeing the costumes and like asking the kids what they are um he's so cute so we had a really good time we watched dancing with the stars last night it was the halloween episode so that's always fun and yeah now it is november 1st i feel like it's christmas <laughs> and i do have to say i'm not one of those people who like i love christmas don't get me wrong but i'm not like a I'm not typically like a November 1st Christmas girly. Like I really do love the fall season and I love Thanksgiving and I typically decorate like right after Thanksgiving. So like I'll start to decorate the weekend after Thanksgiving if I'm home, <laughs> which sometimes usually I'm not, but this year I am going to be. So yeah, I don't decorate before. I'm not going to decorate before, but something in the air just feels like a little bit Christmassy but I don't want to rush like this like the fall season because it is so short and so special and obviously it only happens once a year so I am just I don't know I'm just happy with the seasons I love like the different change in pace and it's actually I think I've mentioned this before but it's not usually cool or like nice weather in Florida at this time of year it like has been an exceptionally exceptionally nice month of October um, it usually does start to be really nice in November so now we are here and it's gonna be like amazing weather my in-laws are coming into town this weekend so that should be fun they don't ever come usually in the like fall time but it just snowed my mom texted me a picture of the snow in Michigan I'm like Thank God I live in Florida. Literally, thank God I hate 
the snow. I hate winter. I hate not seeing the sun. Even when like we have days, um, a couple days in a row where it's like rainy in Florida, I'm like, this is depressing. So just very thankful that I live in Florida this morning. I feel like every vlog that I film turns into a car vlog because I'm like constantly going from one place to another. And then I'm at home in the evenings and like that's my life during the week. But it is like 1.42 right now. I just picked myself up a pumpkin cream cold brew um, with one pump of vanilla, light ice. And I also picked my up, myself up an impossible sandwich with no cheese and no egg because I like brought this, sorry for the camera. I brought to leftover tortellini soup for lunch, but I didn't check the Tupperware container. And it was a Tupperware container that I hadn't finished all of it. So there was just a little bit left. So I did not bring enough food for lunch. Like I knew I was gonna be really hungry in a couple of hours. So I was like, okay, let me just pick this up really quick. And of course I'll get myself a fun little drink. And then I'm headed back to my office to see my afternoon patients. I had a good leg day at the gym, but I just like ran out of there. <laughs> I didn't change back into my scrubs because I needed to run to the Starbucks because my other office is not close to anything. Like there's nothing over there except for construction. But what I was gonna say is I hate, I order extra ice in my coffees because I like there to be a lot of ice and there's just a normal amount of ice in here and I hate that. <laughs> what are you doing, huh? Okay. Good morning, you guys. It's Thursday. I'm exhausted. I have like had a terrible time sleeping last night because I was thinking about my schedule for today, which is like absolutely loaded. And then I have three new patients. I have eight new patients today, which we should never have more than four. And then I have three new patients scheduled for this evening. One at five, one at 5.30, and one at six o'clock. And we're never supposed to have new patients at six o'clock. So I have been racking my brain as to how this happened and like how to handle it best because I'm so mad about it. And I like want to be firm to my boss about it because it's wrong but i also know that he probably didn't schedule it but if i ever complain about my schedule it's i don't like i always hear like oh you don't want to see patients like you don't want to work type of thing and i'm like no i do um i just don't want to be overworked so good morning i'm glad it's the last day of the week Today was literally hell. I don't even want to talk about it because I'll get too mad, like it's too fresh. Um, but it was my last work week, work day of the week. I literally did not knock it off until 6.45 because I saw three new patients like I was complaining to you guys about this morning. Um, three new patients in a row at 5, 5.30 and 6 o'clock, which was not supposed to happen. Um, and I asked why it had happened and I got reprimanded that I need to see at least 25 patients a day. And I said that, I didn't say this, but the problem is not seeing patients. The problem is the patients that I'm expected to see in that time. Anyway, um, I just got a PR package from St. Laurent YSL, essentially, which is so freaking cool. Um, what did I get? Okay. I got a ready to care shine lip contour. Ooh, I don't have a lot of lip. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Look at that color. Wow, I feel like you can't even like focus on it. Look how pretty that color is. I love that. Oh my God, it like glides on, are you kidding me? Hmm. And it smells really good. Oh my God, amazing. Let's see. Oh my God, the lighting is so bad in here. Okay, that's a little bit better. That color is so pretty. You can see it on my skin, I love it. So I got a lipstick. It smells like guava. And I think this is another lipstick. Ooh, okay. A lighter pink. 
oh my god <laughs> me constantly oh my god I don't know if it's gonna focus. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but so pretty. That smells kind of like guava as well. And then I also got a mascara, which is super exciting because I needed a new black mascara. I don't use mascara that often, to be completely honest. Um, but I have a brown mascara that literally is no different from black mascara. Ooh, this is nice. Uh, I love that like first pop of mascara. Okay, cool. When I do my makeup tomorrow, I will try these. But Seth just ran to grab some Chipotle and Marie H. Chipotle for dinner. I'm gonna take a shower. I need to wash my hair, it's so dirty. Um, and then, yeah, my in-laws are coming tomorrow, so that should be fun. I need to pick up the house, but our house cleaner is coming tomorrow as well. So we're gonna have a good weekend. I have four days off, I'm super excited about it. Mm -hmm. 